It seems that I've made a bit of a mistake regarding the iPhone 3G review I did a while back. Now, in my review, I said that the 3G connection was nothing more than an overglorified modem. Well, I was wrong. The reason was because my iPhone wasn't actually connected to 3G. It was using GPRS, which is like one step up from Edge, but many steps down from 3G technology. The only reason I found out about this error on my end was because my work colleague got himself an iPhone 3G model, exactly the same as mine and yet he was able to get a 3G connection. Now, I thought... What? He's got 3G on his iPhone? How could this be? We've got the exact same phone model, and he's getting 3G connection, but I'm not. Why is that? Why don't I have 3G on my iPhone? I want 3G! Oh! Only joking. But still, this didn't make any sense. Why was he getting 3G on his iPhone, and I wasn't? So, I went online to my mobile phone provider, and I did a little research, and it turns out that my SIM card was too old, and I was not able to get a 3G connection using the SIM card. So, I felt like I needed to do provide service to people, and give this little instruction manual, this guide, for all those people on how to activate the 3G capabilities of the iPhone 3G model. But chances are you're not that stupid like I am and have already got 3G connected and activated and you're enjoying it whilst laughing in my face. But for everyone else who hasn't got 3G and need a bit of help, listen closely. First thing most people would recommend you do, including me, would be to make a backup of all your contacts and information that happens to be on your phone. It's not necessary, but it's always a good thing to do just in case everything goes completely pear-shaped and you lose all your data. Next thing you need to do is to check your SIM card and on your SIM card there will be a series of uh, numbers and letters regarding the uh, model number or something like that. What you're looking out for is the letters and numbers 3G somewhere embedded within this number. If it does have 3G then your SIM card is 3G compatible and you should be getting a 3G connection on your phone. If your SIM card is not compatible with 3G, then you're going to have to go to your mobile phone provider. In my case it's O2. What they'll do then is they'll give you a new SIM card and perform a SIM card swap or something like that. If this will take 24 hours for the new SIM card to be active. When it does, just simply pop it into your um, mobile phone and it will become activated. Once you've got your 3G SIM card activated and is inserted into your iPhone, the next thing to do is get the latest iTunes, currently, and then just simply connect it up and follow the instructions to activate your 3 Genius on your iPhone. If you've already happened to activate your iPhones through iTunes, like I did, then you shouldn't need to activate it again. Once you've had your SIM card 3 g fied and connected and working, the moment you insert it into your iPhone, the 3G capabilities should be activated. So now that I've got 3G and I've actually tested it, what do I think of it, the 3G technology on the iPhone? Frankly, I'm impressed. It's actually pretty goddamn fast. It's not as fast as the fastest broadband connection, but it is easily catching up with the low end broadband connection and it's very fast for a mobile device. Sure, there's a couple of instances where there's like a delay of a couple of seconds as the iPhone tries to find the page. But once it actually gets, gets through the actual connection, it is very swift in downloading the content. And it is quite like having a broadband connection on the move. So 3G, it's a good thing, especially on your iPhone. It gets my seal of approval.